right, good afternoon to you. <clears throat> well, this is sort of shaving with fuzzy, but we're not actually doing a shave this time on this video. Wanted to show you something I found the other day that uh, kind of interesting to me. I don't know, you know particularly why it's so interesting, but anyway, just the way it goes. So, over in Lafayette, you may have heard me talk before about the vitamin store over there called Drug Emporium. And the neat thing about Drug Emporium is they sell Williams soap and they sell uh, all the different Penald uh, aftershaves and stuff and they've got injector blades and they've got all the traditional you know Aquavella, Brute, everything up there and different things so it's really neat to go in there and have all this stuff just on the shelf so here lately it's been getting kind of hard in the stores and I think it's been that way for a while to find the old Vander Hagen uh, shave kits at least around here I mean Walmart used to carry them they were in the green box and it was the uh, you know the deluxe soap with a green bowl and uh, the bore brush and everything and but they faded out and then the ones I found here recently were the the bright orange box with the black writing Van Hagen and it was the uh, luxury set which had the uh, black uh, I can't dig it out it's too too deep and stuff but anyway it was different from the old sets and it had uh, the newer style brush and stuff so anyway I'm over there the other day and I saw this and this was what used to be in the green box now it's in this light orange box with the black right as you see on the front it still shows the the blue bowl with the green inside and the soap and everything so i picked up a couple of these i love giving these things for starter kits and uh they're calling it the vander hagen basics now and uh i guess it is but the truth of the matter is this all you had to shave with you could get great shaves out of it and move right along so you open it up and it's got the brush in it now this brush i don't remember the handles being all that you know that shiny so uh, I happen to have one of the old brushes that came uh, used to come in those sets this is the deluxe brush so it's got a white handle on it but anyway looking at them they you know look like they still got the same brush now the brush you look on the bottom is a little bit different it's got Vander Hagen on the green over here and this and that so there's there's some differences there uh, and the knots there look really really similar so, you know, for some reason, though, this brush looks overall a little smaller than this brush to me. But, uh, you know, you can't really tell because you get close and further away on video and stuff. But uh, just looking at it in my hands, for some reason, the knot looks a little smaller. But it could just be, you know, variation in knots. I don't know. don't think it's a big deal. So, uh, you know, that's pretty close to the same. And then as you dig deeper down into the box here, we're going to slide this open and get this out. And then you've got the old, you know, green bowl. Now I think you seem to remember, hold that thought just one second. He looked over here. And, uh, no, you got the green inside and the blue. This is one of the older ones. This is the newer one. Of course, this one, you know, I don't really wipe all the soap off the bowl when I get done with them all the time. <laughs> you know, <laughs> sorry about that. But uh, they both still say liquid logic on the bottom, and the bowls are made in China. And uh, the brush is made in China, and it comes with the, uh, you know, the deluxe soap, which has got that pink look to it. Now, I used to love the select soap, and uh, I don't know if there's a whole lot of difference from when they went from the deluxe to the select, but the select was white, and it looked, you know, it came in that same little plastic container and everything, but uh, it was a white soap, and for some reason I always liked it better. I've still got some left up here, as a matter of fact, in a container. So anyway, I ran across that and thought that was kind of neat. So if you're looking for a starter kit, the VDH starter kit, they're calling it the Vander Hagen Basics these days. And I don't know where else they're selling them. I, don't, I haven't looked online to see where you can find them. The soap, though, is still made in the U.S. It's right here on the back, soap made in USA. And, of course, Vander Hagen is, uh, you know, not, not owned by Vander Hagen anymore. It's Universal Beauty Products Incorporated bought them out and stuff. And and everything but uh even though so there you go i just thought i'd share that real quick with you before we got into a shave video which i'm going to make next here i'm not sure what we're going to use today but we're going to use something <laughs> and get a little shave video going so there we go so uh if you're looking for that kit and it's a great starter kit if you got someone that wants to get into it it's uh it really is a great starter kit and it can get them in. And not only is it just the basics, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't see it just being just a basic kit. You could shave with that and only shave with that and get great shaves out of it. Know what I mean, Vern? Alrighty. Well, y'all have a good day. 
and uh, I've still got several of the deluxe <laughs> in the green box packed away. There's no telling what all I got packed away in there. When I start digging around for things, sometimes I come up and say, oh, wait, <laughs> yeah, I did buy some of that, didn't I? It happens. All righty. Well, happy shaves to you, and, uh, you know, we'll see you again here for too long. Have a great day. We're gone.